Hi families, it's Mrs. Hagenson and I am doing the work for Thursday, May 14th. We are starting the letter Q today. Q says qu, qu, and this is a picture of quail. This page says Q is for quail. There's a lot of different ways to write a Q. One of them is oh, uppercase Q is always the same, like that. Lowercase Q can have a straight line tail or a curved tail. But if we have the line on the other side, it's a P. So that's not a Q. That might be one of the ones trying to trick you on this page. So let's get started. First thing I do is always the same. Pick up my pencil and write my name. Please write your name on the top line. Now we are going to go through and find our uppercase Q's and a lowercase Q's. Oh, another one that's going to try to trick you is the G because the line goes on the same side, but the tail goes the other way. This is a G, not a Q. So I'm going to pause the video. You try to find all of your uppercase Q's like this and lowercase Q's like this. 10 uppercase Q's and lowercase Q's. So go ahead and count your paper right now. Make sure you found all 10. There was one really tricky one. They tried to trick you with a G right here. If you accidentally colored it, just put an X through it like that. That's fine. Now let's do our tracing. For our uppercase Q, we always start our letters at the top dot. Go around, all the way around, make a circle, and then frog jump back to make your little line down. This one, it wants us to start with our circle. Go all the way back up. Frog jump to the top, straight line down, stop sign, little line up. Good job on your Q is for quail page. Flip the packet over. This is our crazy quilt. And you're going to need a lot of colors for this one. The directions at the top say color uppercase letter the same color as the lowercase letter to make a crazy quilt. And quilt starts with the letter Q. Qu, 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 quilt. So I'm getting my colors out. I'm going to pick one color to start with. It is this beautiful purple color. Oh, it's called orchid. And I am going to color my uppercase Q piece with it. Now I'm trying to stay in the lines, but my coloring doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, there's no such thing as perfect. Perfect is make-believe. Perfect isn't real. Even professional artists aren't perfect. So now that my Q is that color, I have to find the lowercase Q in the middle that matches. This has a tail, but we just talked about this letter. This is a J. This is the tricky one. That's a G. Here's my Q up here. So I'm going to color my Q piece the same color. Have you ever seen a quilt? It's where they take a bunch of different kinds of fabric and they sew it together. So now these cues match. Your job now is to find another color. I have yellow green here. You can choose a different color. And to color the another uppercase letter, I'm going to just go down the line and do my uppercase K. I might switch to crayons. I think maybe my hands get less tired with crayons than they do with colored pencils. You can use whatever you want to use. Crayons, colored pencils, markers. All right, do you see how I have an uppercase K and a lowercase K? And they're the same color. It's kind of hard to see because of the light on my camera. 
I am going to do one more with you and then I'm going to pause the video and let you do the rest on your own. I'm picking orange for my letter G. This is going to be one colorful crazy quilt. Okay, once I have that colored, I need to find the match in the middle. Do you see the lowercase g in the middle? It's actually right in the middle. It's touching the K. Yep, right here, G. G says G, like gorilla, garage, gum. I didn't do the K sound. K says K, like kite, kid. There's my G. Now I'm going to pause the video and keep going, matching the colors with my uppercase and lowercase. So for O, I'm going to do this one the same color as this one. I want you to pause your video and finish this page, and we'll check in when you're done with this page. That took me some hard work. I bet you worked hard on that too. I'm proud of you. It was hard for me to find different colors for all the letters. So if you had to repeat some colors, that's okay. So all of your colors should match. So like my J matches my J, same color. My B matches my B, same color. Good job. Our next page is a cutting page. So you have to tear it out of the back and it has this star on it. So we know it's a cutting page. First thing I do is always the same. I pick up a pencil and write my name. Right there on the line that says name. This page says alphabet patterns and now we are talking about Q, like quail and quilt. My directions say cut on the dotted lines glue down the picture that completes the pattern. So I'm going to read the patterns and I want you to tell me what comes next. Quarter, quilt, quarter, quilt. Yes, quarter. Queen, quill, queen, quill. Yes, queen. A quill is a long feather and a long, long time ago, they used to take the pointy part of the feather and dip it in ink, the stuff that's in a pen or that you use for a stamp, and they would use that to write with it, and then they would run out of ink and have to dip it again and write. Quesadilla, question mark, quesadilla, question mark. Yep, quesadilla. Oh, quiet, quintuplet. Quintuplets, yes, quiet. Quintuplets, oh, quadru those must be quadruplets, there's four. Quad means four. So quadruplets are four babies that are born at the same time from the same mama. So just like there's twins, two babies that are born at the same time from the same mama, this is four babies born at the same time from the same mama, and it's extremely rare. My next job is to cut these four rectangles apart so that I can glue them in their right spot. I'm going to pause my video while I cut. You pause and cut too, please. I cut my four pieces out and I grabbed my glue stick because I know that's what's coming next. Let's figure out what goes in this first square. Quarter, quilt, quarter, quilt. Yes, quarter. So I have to look and see which of my pictures matches this. This one. A little bit of glue. You don't even need very much. Push it on. Queen, quill. Queen, quill. Yes, queen. Quesadilla, question mark. Quesadilla, question mark. Which one, quiet or quesadilla? Yes, quesadilla. I like cheese in my quesadillas. Quiet, quadruplets. 
quiet quadruplets my last one quiet it would not be very quiet at your house if you had four babies quadruplets huh. there is my alphabet patterns page we have one more cutting page for today it's another one of our number matching puzzles so go oh i think i know what the picture is going to be do you think it's going to be this i think it's going to be the quadruplets look but they're all mixed up we've got to put them in order so once you get this paper out of the back of your packet, it has a star, it's a cutting page. Go ahead and write your name on it at the top. N-A-M-E says name. My directions say number match puzzle. This is the letter Q. Q says qu. Directions, cut out the puzzle pieces. Make a picture by gluing each piece to the matching fingers. Remember, I'm not gonna put them in one, two, three, four, five order. I'm gonna match the number to the fingers. So this one, one, it's gonna go here where there's one finger. I am going to cut my pieces and then I will come back. Push pause so you can cut your pieces too cut out my pieces and I put mine in number order one two three four five just to show you that the picture doesn't match so I need to pay attention to the fingers here how many fingers find the number two glue it down how many fingers find the number five Five. Glue it down. How many fingers? Find the number one. One. Glue it down. How many fingers? Find the number three. Three. Glue it down. Last piece, my guess is it's number four. Look at the fingers. Yes, four. Flip it over and just one straight line of glue will work. Glue it down. Look at these quadruplets. I bet there's four of them. Let's count. One, two, three, four. How many of the quadruplets are crying? One. How many are sleeping? It looks like the two in the middle are sleeping. And how many are awake and happy? Two are awake. One is awake and happy. We would say most of the babies are sleeping because two is bigger than one. Or two, well, half and half are sleeping. Two are sleeping and two are awake. All right. Thank you for doing your jobs today. I'm proud of you. Keep up the good work.